so any let's say i want to this uh, has let's say uh, for example on the 30th of Dece december the price of this trade retailer would be let's say 300 rupees uh, just to be uh, it's a random amount uh, so it's a 300 rupees and when i check it for today on the may uh, of the next year then i get the amount as 500 rupees but i want the amount to be 300 rupees so what i would do as a hacker i would go ahead and open the cached web page of 30th december by going ahead and searching it over here inside google and once i go ahead and have that i'll get go ahead and buy that and the website will not even come to know that i have actually faked the cat it with the cached web page i'll show you one more example of that i'll just type let's say www.amazon.in that is for india so when i go once i go ahead and uh, type this i'll get all the cached web pages of uh, this specific website that's amazon.in so if i go ahead and open this these are all the cached web pages and the amount would be quite different Never put a space between a cache and the URL uh, web address because if you do that, then it would be uh, quite different. So, okay, yes, perfect. So this is what we need uh, because if you do that, as you can see that these are the prices. If I go and enter a date over here, then it will give me the cached web page of that date. So let's see if the price for this for today is 1798 and tomorrow if it comes to let's say 2000 rupees but i still want it for 1798 then i will then after uh, 10 to 15 days uh, i'll go and open the web page of today's date uh, by entering the date over here as well and i will get the uh, the space, same amount the same offer that i was a few days ago so after that we have uh, the link a query that link uh, list web web pages that have links to a specified web page you can go ahead and use the link query as well so in this way we have lots of other stuff such as note link uh, related example and all in title so these are just some small examples and there should be no space between the specific word you are, you are typing and the actual uh, query only then you will be able to uh, gather information about that let me show you one more example of that so it will get a clear idea i'll just type let's say um, i'll type in title let's say intranet and i'll type in url i'll type intranet plus i'll type in text i'll type human resources I'll hit enter and so these are the internet for those companies and normally we should not be able to access this but maybe they have not used their firewall in a proper ways and that is the reason why how can how I can go ahead and uh, access these to their specific information so the information gathered by the attackers can be used to perform social engineering attacks and Google will filter for excessive use of advanced operators and drop the request with the help of intrusion prevent prevention system. I think that they have a good firewall that's the reason I am being banned over there. So let's uh, go ahead and check this. Normally Google does not allow but let's go ahead and check this web pages. If there are any faults then if they don't have a good firewall then we won't be able to access that if they don't have one then obviously they cannot go and stop us so here we are so these actually this thing is not allowed for us to see or this is for the internet but internet is always connected in some or the other way to a normal internet and I, actually i should not be able to see these things but since i have used this google uh, technique so what google does is that google have two crawlers one is a spider and another one is a crawler so these two things no matter what information you upload or what email you do each and everything is stored inside google so once you have uploaded something on the internet it will be there on google and anyone can find it uh, it's just a matter of time that the person has to know how to go ahead and access this so this is the normal uh, page that which i should not be able to access but i uh, am able to access this because they don't have a good firewall in place even this one i should not be able to access this one as well but since uh, i am able to access that means even these people don't have a good firewall in place and that's why i'm able to access this i'll show you one more stuff which is quite dangerous for normal people to go ahead and access this but i will still show you the uh, cvv colon let's say um i'll type in text colon cvv so i'll just go ahead and open 
this website so once I go and open this website what I would be getting would be a list of all the card details of and all the random person that so if you have even once if you have uh, swiped your card on the internet to purchase anything that means I will have that on this web page so it is just an example let me check okay I'll just go and download this if I'm able to if I don't have any exceptions, then I'll surely go ahead and show you. Okay, perfect. So, and I want to go and you can see that we have these things, but these are expired. We have the username, the MD5 hash file for the password, which uh, if you have a good cracker uh, such as Burp Suit or John the Ripper that we have on Kali Linux, I'll just go ahead and open over it over here. And I'll just go ahead and update. I forgot to upgrade it. Okay, no fine. I won't want to upgrade it as of now. I'll just close this. So we have several MD5 cracking tools over here. As you can see that um, we have hash tools for the MD5 hash files. We have online attacks and we have John the Ripper hash identifier and hash cat. Even OPH crack is a very good one. You have a rainbow cracking tool. So these are different things through which we can go and crack the MD5 file and we have the email ID. So you can see how easily we can go ahead and crack this and you can even see that this expired just uh, two months back so if I am a um, random black hat hacker then I would probably check that which one is useful and I, I will surely go ahead and use this for malicious purposes. Let me check if I have any active one Feb, March, April this expired last month it's the American Express card and even this expired last month okay so I don't actually have any active one and it's actually quite good that I don't have any active let's say any active card over here because if one of you person watching this video is a malicious one you can probably use that for illegal purpose 